Hello, um, it's day 40 in my 100 days of happiness, which means that I am 60 days away from completing it for a second time. Um, this is like my kind of halfway evaluation, even though it's not halfway. Um, 100 days of happiness has been really difficult. It was way more difficult than I found it last year in every possible way I don't know if it's just the format that I'm doing it in or just in general but I'm finding it really difficult I mean I started 100 days of happiness in a really shit mind frame and I'm still stuck in that really shit mind frame um i was on hangouts to aaron yesterday and he was saying how sometimes he has these really good days where everything is really really good and i can't remember the last time i had one of those days because even if i have a reasonably all right day you know nothing goes wrong it's all just fine Anxiety gets in the way in some way, shape or form. The gatherings I've been to recently, I've just kind of walked off part way through to be on my own for a bit. To not get on everyone's nerves. To calm down a bit. To not ruin the mood. And if I've not been able to do that, there have been points where if I was then at that gathering, that would be the point then I'd have just kind of disappeared for half hour, 45 minutes. No one probably even notices, but like, I just don't want to ruin someone else's day. A day that could be perfect, or if not perfect, not ruined by anything but I don't remember the last time I had a decent day where I didn't feel even a bit shit in the evenings or something like that. I don't know, I don't get it. But 100 Days of Happiness is really difficult. Um, it's much harder than it was before. I want to finish 100 Days of Happiness with something that I can look back on that makes me happy but I'm just running out of things to use for 100 Days of Happiness. I can't even remember what they are anymore, which is why tonight I'm gonna go through and make a list in my book on what they are. I don't want to pre-film 100 Days of Happiness, that's just stupid, because it defeats the point of it for me. I mean, I'm not saying you are stupid if you do pre-film them, but I mean like, the whole point is I want to be able to feel motivated enough to do it. Um, I'm also doing Vlogmas this year. I'm trying to work out what I want to do and what channels it should be on. Because ideally I want to make the content that I'm happy enough with to go on my main channel but I don't want to spam on my main channel because I know they're not going to get the same views and although that sounds so typically stupid and view focused it just is but I don't want to lose the viewers and friends I could be making from these videos by spam uploading kind of thing I want to keep all the opportunities and doors open although I would love to do vlogmas um, I'm filming some videos with Alex soon I'm going over to theirs which is exciting I'm going over to Kent uh, we're going to be filming Halloween and Christmas videos as well as normal videos and I'm really excited for that and I want that to happen sooner because I really miss them I really miss my friends just in general Tomorrow has been a month since I last saw Aaron and my heart can't take that. It's already been a week since Chibi Box, 
more than a week, I don't even know, a week, something like that, since Chibi Box, and I don't know, I just really miss everyone. I don't like living here, I feel so isolated. I mean, I get to go and see Cameron for New Year, but that's what, four and a half, five and a half hours more anxiety on trains than I normally get. That's what, what, four and a half hours, five and a half hours, I don't know, they're different. But that's the same stress and anxiety I had the last time I went up to Glasgow to see her and then I have the whole well shit I'm spending five days straight with her is anything gonna go wrong are we gonna fall out am I gonna be left alone at the end of it am I gonna I don't know I mean I know last time I went up there it was a week and a half there and then Sitsy here so it was like two weeks straight and then we weren't friends for another what like nine months I just don't want a repeat of that because I love Cameron to bits and the worst bit is about all of this is that I am in a place right now with absolutely amazing friends. My photo wall demonstrates that. The amount of time I spend talking to my friends demonstrates that. But it's a wall in my head just invalidated by everything else going on in my life. I want to be able to go back and say, hey, you know, February, this was a good time in my life. I liked that, that was good. But then I remember I wasn't friends with Cameron. I, I didn't even know half the people I'm really close with now. So it's not good. And then there's all the shit with my dad going on that just automatically means that if I can think of a time where stuff was good in general, it was all good. I had great friends, I was happy with stuff, it's just invalidated because I don't know how long this fucking affair went on for. Which means I could pinpoint a term in my life that feels perfect, that's just thrown in the bin, because it wasn't, it was far from that. I don't really know what to do with myself. Um, I'm just not, not sure what to do, I really miss everything, I miss my friends, I miss my old house more than I could ever begin to express, I never felt homesick before here. Yeah, I feel really homesick almost every single night. And it's just a horrible feeling. And I really don't like that. I miss how my 100 days of happiness used to be the last time I did it. But when I looked back on it, I really was happy looking back on it. And I didn't regret doing it or anything like that and I don't think I'm going to be able to do that this time because it's not going well at all um I don't know but stuff's not good this isn't good I'm not good I'm an awful human being but I'm not talking about that right now um, I just want stuff to be alright again. I want anxiety to fuck off. I want to see my friends again. And I want my dad to stop being shit. And I want to stop being shit. I just want stuff to be okay. And go back to how it used to be. And I more than anything want to go back to my old house and my old room and everything that I feel safe in because I miss it more than anything in the entire world and I never get a chance to go back there and every time I go to my brother's 
I'm so near to there and I'm not there and I'm not going back there ever again and I miss it more than anything in the entire world and I don't like that I just want stuff to be okay again and I don't know what to do